Hello my friends, it's Gary here once again. As you may recall, I posted a video quite a while ago about using Reaper in Linux to make music. Today I want to show you how to fix a problem that sometimes occurs when loading certain VSTs into Reaper. Now what you end up with is this conflict um, between plugins that usually results in you being un unable to load your saved project. Which as you can imagine, it's very frustrating when it's something that you really want to work on. But luckily, there's a simple fix to help get things going again. So as you can see here, I'm going ahead to load Reaper. Um, this may crash, it might not. Here we go, Reaper has stopped working. It didn't manage to load the project completely. And now it's just came up with this closed program dialog. So what is essentially going to happen is when I go to load this up again, Reaper will start as normal. Um, so it's, it's gone ahead and it's opened up a blank project as you can see. So instead of going to recent projects and loading something that you've recently been working on, what I want you to do is go to open project, find the program where it is located, and I'll just skip ahead while I do that. Okay, so here we go. I've located the file, uh, the folder where my project is located. Um, instead of opening this straight away, here's what we need to do. We need to come down here to the second checkbox which says open with FX online uh, in brackets recovery mode. So you're going to tick that box and you're going to click open. So as you can see we've got this project load warning box that's came up now and it's basically telling us that all of these VST plugins that were in the project have now been switched offline. So as you can see we've got into the project again all we need to do, and this can be a bit of a lengthy process depending on how many effects you have, is simply go through and click this box here that says bring effect online. So that's going to sort out those, and you're going to do this for every track that you have plugins on. So I've just gone through and enabled all of these plugins again, and if all has gone well we should now be getting sound. Yep, so everything's working fine now. Um, one thing that I will point out, if you leave whatever plugin is in this project, if you leave it in place, you will have to go through this process quite a lot of time. The great thing about this recovery mode is it allows you to go in, find out what plugin is causing the problem, uh, either, render, either render out one of the sounds that you've made with the plugin, and then remove it, or substitute it with another plugin. So my friends, I want to thank you basically for tuning into this video. I hope that's helped you. Um, I also want to make a little bit of a shameless plug here. I have another channel, and if you're looking for any free VST plugins to improve your arsenal of instruments and effects, you can head over to freevstoasis.url.ph or to the Free VST Oasis YouTube channel, which I'll post a link to in the description and on this video. Cheers, thanks.